hello YouTube and welcome to today's tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how I got this image from this image yep let me just zoom it in a bit so you could see it properly so how I got this image from this yep so um I'm going to be showing you how I use frequency separation to get this. So just stick with me and let's have some fun and let's learn some some new things in Photoshop and um, frequency separation. <music> So now if you notice um i changed the background from yellow or i don't know the name of this color but then i think it's yellow here um if you notice i changed the background from this to this because i i preferred i just preferred a grayish white background to this yellowish one so um yeah um let me not forget i got this um image from um prince james on on instagram you could um, check him out just go to his um profile you would see the link to this raw image to download he left it there for practice you could um go and download it and and, and give it a try just come to my youtube channel and follow me as we learn together so yeah um let's move let's go ahead with our tutorial for today so um i will go straight to my panel layer and um yeah before i do my duplications and all i normally make sure i remove some blemishes i make sure i remove i try to remove as much blemishes as possible that i can and I do this by using the spot healing brush tool. That's this my healing brush tool. So I just go over to my image and uh, just oh sorry, it's this one. Then um I just mark over the the blemishes that I see just like this so that um it makes it easier when you are doing frequency separation so i just do this just like this you don't have to do the same thing but I just prefer to I prefer to remove my blemishes remove those that are visible before I do any separation just remove as much as possible yes I think this is enough this is enough I've taken out um, as much as I can so now I would duplicate this layer twice and um, I would rename this to low and rename this to high. Yep, and um, then I'll toggle off this my this high layer, select my low layer, and move to my fill tab, then to blur, Gaussian blur. Now here you you should um pick a figure a number that would blur out your image a little don't blur it out too much blur it out a little maybe um, i think 10 will do i think i'll go with 10 yep click ok then i come to my high layer toggle it back on 
and I go to image apply image then um, the layer I select now I want to apply this image on the low layer so I select layer and I select low then my blending mode I pick subtract then opacity is 100 scale at 2 and offset at 120 these are standard figures we should use all the time so um, yep and you see it the image should appear like this now if if you get to this stage and you don't see this you should check your values here because it shows that there is a mistake somewhere so just make sure you correct them now i hit my ok yep and then um, i come to my blending mode on the high then i select linear light yes then you see that we come back to the original image can see I'm not sure it's not much now I'll just um, now when I get to this point what I normally do is I duplicate my low and then I hold holding on to the alt key I select this then I go to my high duplicate it again and holding on to my alt key I select Hold key, I right click on the between the high copy and then the high original. Then I select this. Now, after doing this, you should go and change the blending mode for this high copy to normal. Yep. Now, why do I do this? I do this because, um, when in the process of brushing, in the process of the frequency separation, when I make a mistake on my low, I can easily toggle this off and then duplicate it again to work on it again if not if if you don't do that and you make a mistake in the process you would have to start all over again so it's better to duplicate this so i'll work on this low copy instead of the low itself yeah so um now i select my low copy uh, then i pick my mixer brush tool i select my mixer brush tool then I come over to my width, I'll make it 30, low 30, mix 30, flow out, take it to about 20, yeah, 20 will do. Um, yep, so um, then I come over to my image, I would zoom it in, I'll zoom it in. I'll just zoom it in a bit then increase my brush size yeah then i begin to paint oh sorry ah so um you should remember that make sure that sample all layers is marked off if not you would see some bands if if you don't mark it off there would be some bands so just make sure this sample all layers is marked off so now let's go ahead and begin to paint. Just paint gently. Gently on the skin, just like that. Um, at the moment, you might not see any progress. You might not see any difference in the skin, but just make sure you paint. Uh, now make sure you don't paint from, from the shadows into the highlights. Just try to paint it in such a way that it will be an even, even crossing over. Just like I'm doing. Just keep it simple and smooth. Now, after you've painted for a while, it's best you go and check your before and after. So I'll just toggle this off. Then I, as you can see, there's some difference. And so I just continue again to paint. I just paint gently like this. Now you just do this. Um, on 
are doing this you should be careful because if you don't do it very well you might end up getting different zones of texture on the image so just try to paint where there is highlights you paint in the highlights where there is shadows you paint the shadows so um, you would have to do this for the entire image and uh, I think I should fast forward this so it doesn't take too much time so that um, I would move to the next stage when I'm done so yeah um, I will just fast forward this and I'll see you I would um, see you when I get to the next stage so yeah So yes, um, welcome back to the tutorial. Now I'm done brushing my image. I will just show you the before. This is before, and this is after. This is before, and this is after. Now, if you observe, I was able to use the mixer brush tool to cover some of the blemishes. Now I got all these using the the mixer brush to brush in in the place of brushing so yep now I select my um, high high layer then I go over to the head I zoom it in like this then I select my um, clone stamp tool then With my clone stamp tool, I'm going to remove some spots and blemishes from her face. And that's the purpose of the clone stamp tool. And I do that by selecting my high layer. Now I select the high copy because in case I make any mistake, I could either easily go back or just delete this high copy, duplicate it again. So I could work on it again instead of starting all over the process from the beginning. So it's always good to duplicate your layers so um yeah let's go so with my clone stamp tool selected i'll just i'll just go back to a part of her skin that is smooth and i press i hold on to my alt key then i select that part of the skin that is smooth then i move just increase this a bit and i move to the parts of her skin that have some blemishes i'll just paint over just going to over those parts of the skin that have blemishes to remove the blemishes um, now you should remember that when you're doing this you should don't just select any part of the skin but always make sure and try to select a part of the skin that is close to uh, the blemish you want to remove so just select while holding your O, just make sure you select close to the part where the blemish is. Then you can paint over. You can um, remove the blemishes with that. And also, um, because this is a tutorial, I'm not really taking my time to remove your blemishes. So I don't take too much time. But then when, when you're doing it, when you're doing it on your image you can take as much time as you want so you would have a perfect image just remove you yep so um yep just make sure you take your time to get a perfect image just remove these ones to and yeah um good 
so um this is the before this is the after let me zoom it in so you could see the difference here's the before and this is the after this is before and this is after so now i would just group all these put all these layers into one group hold uh, my shift key whilst selecting the high copy and then the low hold my shift key and press ctrl j ctrl g sorry to put all these in a group so now we name this to frequency separation i'll just make a short fs for short yep now i'm done with frequency separation now i'm going to be moving on to dodge and burn which is also a different stage on its own so um yes let's go straight ahead to dodge and burn i will just come to my adjustment panel then i select curve then i close this now i would rename this curve layer to um, let's say burn then i would go to my blending options then i'll select it to multiply now you can see that as i select multiply the image looks let me use the word bend you can see the image becomes darker because that's the layer we are going to be working the bend on where our shadows are going to be on so it, it, it this, this this underlying layer it, that we're going to be working on so I'll just holding on to my control key i press i um so like this yep to invert the image now now we have the band layer where we are going to be painting on then do the same thing select curve close this now with the curves i'm going to select go to my blending blending option then i select screen you could see it becomes very bright because this is the highlights panel so i'll change this to dodge name this to dodge yep and then holding on to my control key i'll press i to invert it yes and now we have our dodge and bend now uh, before i start to dodge and bend i i would show you a guide on how i am able to know where i'm supposed to dodge and where i'm supposed to bend so with my um with the adjustment with the adjustment panel i'll just come and choose um black and white and then i, I guess lower my reds just take it down 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 yeah i think this is okay now with this you could see let me just show you using like my brush tool i will just show you so now with this you could see that um you can see that all these places are supposed to be um let me show you if you all these place supposed to be um dodged all these places are supposed to be dodged all here should be dodged like this these are the portions i would be dodging um all here as you can see these places have been all these places i have this red marking on are going to be dodged yep all here then let me change a different color and um i would be burning all these parts and parts of your lips now i'm just using these to show you the parts that are supposed to be dodged and the parts that i'm going to be burning so yep now everywhere you see green it means i'm going to be burning that place 
and everywhere you see red from red to dot is in that place i'm just doing this to show you how i'm able to know where i'm supposed to dodge where i'm supposed to burn so yeah um everywhere anywhere you see um green i'm going to be burning that place and anywhere you see red i'm going to be dodging that place so yes let's let's um let's go ahead and dodge and burn let me just close this uh, shift delete yep and now i um come and select my depends on you you could start with burn you could start with dodge but i i normally start with uh, dodge select my dodge panel then i pick my brush tool then i come to the color the background color of the brush tool and i select white let me try to select all of them as white then um opacity i make it 100 flow i lower it to the very least number that's one okay one yep and then i i zoom in just like this mm -hmm. then um i increase my brush i increase my brush then this is the most then i begin to paint i just paint gently over the places that highlighted now when you do this after a while you try to toggle it on and off to see the progress you are making as you can see before and after and then so i continue to paint just around the places that are highlighted just like this Now, like I said before, I'm not really taking my time to do all these because it's a tutorial. Um, but then when you're working on a client's image, you should take your time. Um, I indicated before that um, we're going to be highlighted. I will just do this. and this after before and after so yes um this is how i do my frequency separation with using my highs and my lows and um yeah it's basically very simple just that it needs a, a lot of practice if you really want to be good now it, sometimes it's going to be difficult when you're doing it for the very first time because it's not really understandable but as you keep on practicing you will get to understand it better and you could even find a different way of doing your own frequency separation because yeah yeah there, there are a whole lot of um ways of doing it but i prefer to go this way because um i just like it this way it makes it simple for me so yeah um thank you for watching my tutorial um i'm new on youtube I just started uploading some of my work so um any comments and suggestions are welcome if you have any comments or any suggestion just leave it in the comment section i would read it and then i would um, improve in my subsequent tutorials and um, do well to subscribe do well to like do well to comment do well to share and tell others and anytime you want to um learn anything about photography just make sure to come to my channel as i'll be uploading other tutorials and behind the scenes of how i do my work yep so um enjoy the rest of your day and go out and shoot and have fun retouching thank you goodbye